Get some water. Some. There you go. Rippling waters. Good morning, Blake. Good morning, everyone. I cut my own hair actually over the weekend. I put it in two ponytails like this and then just cut and cut. So it's a little little blunt over here, but that's okay. It'll grow out. It was just getting too long and heavy. So figured now's a good time to cut my hair since I'm not gonna see anybody. Except for you guys. You guys are my family, you're the only people that see me. Hank, wanna come say hi? Let's see if I can show Hank. He's on the floor. There he is. <laughs> Just snuggling on the floor. Not interested in seeing coming over. Good morning, Dax. Two summers ago, my hair was pretty really long. And I had it in a braid, and I was at a farmer's market. I was it's doing, um, I had a booth at the farmer's market. Good morning, Alexa and Eliza. And it was a day, it was like 90 some degrees, and it was hot, and I had a terrible headache. And I came home, and I told my husband to cut my braid off. So my hair is braided, and he didn't want to do it. And I said, no, just do it, it'll be fine. So he cut my hair, cut my braid. And then when I undid the braid, the back of my hair was like this, and then it went down like this. <laughs> so that haircut was a little crazy. So this one, I, that's why I just put it in two ponytails. So it's not, probably a little crazy in the back, probably a little bit longer. But no one sees me from the back. Good morning, Maverick. We are, today we're drawing two mammals and a bird. Are we drawing a? Nope, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Cause I couldn't remember, I know what it was. I couldn't remember, you told me there was a certain kind of pangolin that was in the outback or in Australia. I probably could research it, but I remember you said a specific kind. I thought you did. Maybe you just called it a pangolin, but it's on the list for tomorrow. So we're probably gonna finish out be out back tomorrow and then start a new one. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see what I decide. Maybe we'll finish it out on Monday. Good morning, Joss. Okay, maybe I'll give it one more minute because I came on early today because I realized I had to do Facebook Live now using Firefox instead of Chrome for some reason. Long tail. Thank you. Rattlesnake. Writing down rattlesnake for tomorrow. A pangolin and a rattlesnake. And then um, I was thinking about doing a Tasmanian devil tomorrow. They're pretty creepy looking and don't, do not look like the cartoon Tasmanian Devil. They more look like um, a shrunken down bear cub, I think, just with a really mean face. But still, does it live in Australia or do you think it lives in Africa? Well, it doesn't matter. I'll look it up. And if it doesn't fit, then I'll make it fit next week. I'll put a little question mark by my notes here. Make sure I check it. The other thing about Firefox is my the comments, I have to scroll down, they don't always pop up. So if I miss something, just ask again. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this. Hope everybody had a great day yesterday. It was so beautiful. Looks like today it's gonna be warm, but I see a lot of clouds outside right now. So maybe it'll get sunnier again. And then of course tomorrow it's going to be awesome. 
probably too hot. I'll probably complain that it's too hot. That's I don't like the heat. But it'll be better than being freezing. Okay, so we're gonna start with a um, a sorry a mammal that we've done before, and I think I've mentioned I mentioned it yesterday. And somebody requested it yesterday, and I've done a different drawing. No, well, the one we did previously, so it'll be a little different. And that's the koala. And the koala, good morning, Ella. Good, um, the koala is a marsupial, just like the kangaroo, in that it um, delivers an underdeveloped baby that they then put in their pouch to finish growing. Um, and they're more found on the coast of Australia than the outback. But I put mine on the very edge of it, like there was some, like it was headed towards the eucalyptus forest, um, and they're up in the tree, so it sort of works. And of course, they live and eat, live in and eat eucalyptus trees. And I talked about babies in the pouches, so we're gonna go ahead and get. Um, I am a polar bear, sort of. Well, the polar bear is my favorite animal. I think I told you guys about that back when we did the zoo, that Magnet the Polar Bear is my favorite at the zoo. I don't love the cold cold. I'm, I'm very much a fall person. I love fall, it's my favorite. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with the koala's head. And it almost has a Mickey Mouse look to it at first. Get the head shape in. Oh, I don't have earrings on today. Totally forgot to put them on. Scroll down. Okay. Then you're gonna add a face. And they have those long noses and the best way to do it in um, a drawing like this is just to make a long oval I'm going to go ahead and shade this nose in they are black I think it looks better And they're very fuzzy guides. And I think we talked about this the first time that when you're coloring it in, you can add some um, texture with your color pencils. But they definitely have fur in their ears. So when we do their inside of their ears, we put a little fur on the bottom. I did this one much better than this one. I don't like the way I just did that. This one is how it should look. Ow. All right, now we're going to do the body. And remember I said he's on a tree. So we have this part of the body. And then this is going to be holding on to a tree. Like that. And we're going to put his leg. His leg is sort of bent up. And then, instead of his baby being in his pouch, I'm gonna put him on his back. So let's give him a baby. So we're gonna do the same shape for the head. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to erase these lines. Mine's gonna look a little weird because it's gonna have this line going through it. And then same thing, back, little arm clutching mama, 
and his leg. So it's almost exactly the same. So now he's just on. Oop, I forgot his ears. Where did that shirt come from? It's so nice. Dad gave it to me. Super nice. Um, we need to get some like, film for this. I don't know if they even make film for that. Okay, that'd be so cool. You know you're holding it the wrong way, right? You're supposed to hold it this way. Yes. Yeah. And that's our... Oh, let me give him the tree. You can see that the tree sort of comes like this. So they're clutched onto it and I actually made some trees like they're kind of growing together and I put some branches with leaves. So I put them all over. And that is our koala and her baby hanging out in the tree eating some eucalyptus. Um, I made my claws blue because I wanted to. Um, I, I think we talked about this yesterday that the outback is so dry and brown you might want to change things a little bit just to add some color just to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay our next animal is another mammal and I believe Reagan guessed it. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot about this. Somebody had requested that we do some tumbleweed. It's very simple. It's just going to be a, the shape of it is a basic circle, but you don't draw the circle. Just start with like <clears throat> some branches like this. And then you want it to turn into branches making a circle shape. So you just keep making branches off branches. And they can be sort of round. And you sort of have an outside branch that sort of encapsulates everything. Basically, it's just a tangle of branches. And because they blow around, they form these like little balls. Okay. Eliza and Alexis, who is older? I'm assuming you said you don't want to be reminded of school because you're not going back to that school for your fifth grade. All right, so Brooks, can you go remind them? Never mind, he left again. Okay. All right, so our next animal is um, another mammal, and Reagan mentioned it earlier, and that is the dingo. And that there are dingo dogs. So a dingo is an Australian dog. So Eliza, you're going to middle school next year or you're going to a different school? Like you're going to into fifth grade? You're in fourth grade now, going into fifth at a different school. My kids are getting redistricted too. So I know it's, it stinks, especially if you start online. Okay. So the dingo is an Australian dog and it's medium sized, so it's not huge. And it's usually light ginger or tan or black and tan or sometimes a creamy white. So kind of a neutral color. So when I did mine, I actually did mine sort of, um, I guess I made a tan with a little bit of orange in it to give it that ginger color. Um, so make it a little bit more interesting than just a tan that would uh, blend in with the background. Added some orange and then sort of gave it like this clay yellow color on his feet. You're both going to a different school. Yeah, my kids are too. Sam is going into third and Jackson's going into seventh. And then Brooks, who's going into high school, is going into the high school he would have gone to anyway, but he's still going to a new school because it's high school. So big changes next year. All right, so let's do this dingo dog. 
All right, so we're going to start with his head. And he has um, some pretty big sort of pointy ears. And kind of a narrow face. I'm just going to go ahead and draw the face and then put it up so you guys can see. And then this is going to be as it's easier just to draw it and then have you look at it. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add his face, so some ears, some eyes, nose. In the pictures I saw, I didn't see a lot of teeth, but if you wanted to add, like, not teeth showing, I know he has teeth, but if you want to add showing teeth, you can. I sort of made him a... Uh, a happy, a happy dingo. Oh, and I forgot to say what they eat. They eat birds, reptiles, fish, insects, and seeds. So they have a wide variety in their diet. All right, so we're gonna bring it back around like this into a, a tail. And let's give him his front leg here. And then his belly into his back leg. Yeah, so when we draw this bird next, let's put him up in a tree so he doesn't eat him. <laughs> and now we got to give him a leg here. And that's our bingo dog. Very simple. Just looks like a regular dog. Pretty happy. You're super bright. Bingo bang bang. <laughs> That's better. There. Bingo dog. Okay, Bob? Yeah. Okay. Then our last one. This is my favorite one of the day. Oh, hold on. Somebody just walked by. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Oh, God. I hope I will drop you on your head. I almost dropped him. Here he is. Here's my bingo dog. Ziggy got in trouble yesterday. Remember how when we were on, Ziggy got out? Um, he was harassing our friend's dogs. And he got out a second time. So he's, um, he's punished today. Not that that means anything. The problem is we let them out on the porch and one of the porch doors doesn't shut all the way. So. There he is, all snuggly. He's pretty snuggly today. Are you snuggles today? Okay, I know. You want to go. <laughs> okay, so last one is a bird. 
and it's so pretty. It is called a rainbow lorikeet. Um, uh, you know what? I had kookaburra on the list, and then I changed it to the lorikeet, but we will do a kookaburra. And somebody says a oh, wombat. Okay. Okay, so the rainbow lorikeet is a parrot. There's a kind of parrot that's found in Australia. And they eat mainly fruit and pollen and nectar from flowers. So when I drew the parrot, I drew him in a tree. And I drew these beautiful flowers. And I don't know if these flowers grow on a tree, but that's okay. We make, you know, make up our own area. Uh, but they're really pretty flowers that are pink and yellow and it just makes really pretty um, drawing. So we're gonna, I'm gonna draw the lorikeet amongst these flowers in a tree. And when Diggy comes in, I'll, I'll face the camera to him. I don't know. I think he's still hanging out in the den. Okay, so we're going to start with his beak. I'm going to point it down. And then we're going to add under part of his beak and his head. We're going to go ahead and give him an eye too. Now because he's rainbow, lots of different colors. Um, I made mine blue and orange and green and yellow. Um, I should have added some red on there. I didn't do that, but you could add some red. Um, so it should be just really brightly colored. And then we're going to give him his chest area here and his back. Yes. If I call him, he'll come in. So. Now we're going to do some of his feather lines, or wing line, I guess, on here. Then we're going to draw his talons here. And we are going to put it uh, them around a branch. If you draw it like that, then you have room to do a branch. Are you talking about the shark tooth, my um, not so real shark tooth that I found? <laughs> the Calvert Cliffs. Okay, so then if we draw a branch, perfect space for a branch right here. And you might have it attached to a tree. And then he has some longer feathers that come out here. So that is the lorikeet. And I'm going to draw this flower that I did. So the flower basically has a bunch, uh, has a center, and then these spikes of color. Are, it's like pink. The center is kind of a, a pinkish, orangish, and then like different shades of pink of these little spikes that came out. So what you could do is make several of these centers. 
and then start adding the different spikes of color. And you could have some coming here. So just sort of poof balls all around. Of course, it does not look as pretty in black and white. Well, Hanky's right here, but I'll call Ziggy. Hey, Ziggy! Ziggy, you want to come be on camera? Zig! Here he comes. Just as I thought he would. Ziggy! Ziggy! Ziggy, come here! Ziggy, come here! There he is. Back up. Everybody wants to see you. There he goes. And then Hank is trying to eat his ear. Because that's what he thinks he's there for. Good job, Ziggy. Good job. Okay. All right. Now it's crazy time. Crazy dog time at the gyros. All right. So now I'm going to show you my final. All right, so it's hard to see my background because I've drawn it so lightly. You can see there's my dingo. And my parrot or my lorikeet. And then my koalas over here on the edge. You can see how I made their tree coming off the edge like it was a part of the forest that's coming. So I'm getting a nice balance of color here. When I finally draw my background, the ground will probably be a tan and my little road will be tan or brown. Um, I'll make the sky blue and my sun bright yellow so it looks bright up there. So if I'm looking at this, I definitely need um, a more variety of color, especially oops, on this side. I'll have to think about maybe if I can find some <clears throat> sort of colorful snake to put in there to jazz it up a bit. Or maybe I can find a flower or plant that's indigenous to the outback that has some nice color to it. That would be fun. <laughs> yes, Ziggy and Hank are two crazies for sure. So tomorrow we'll add three more to our outback and I'll see how that looks after I do, after I put my three animals on my final, see if, if I think there's room to add three more on Monday or whether we'll um, finish it up tomorrow. We'll decide that as I work it out. But have an amazing day. Get outside, get some fresh air, enjoy the, the nice weather, and I will see you tomorrow at 11. Bye!